Greetings and welcome. So this is a second example of factoring a quadratic trinomial um, whose coefficient is not equal to 1. And so this is also referred to as the AC method. So step 1 in the AC method is to multiply A times C. So in this case our C term is negative. So AC is equal to negative 20 in this case. And now I'm going to find the factors of 20 that subtract to be 19. All right, and I actually ignore their signs until after I've already found them. So I'll have 1 and 20, uh, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. So which of these have a difference of 19? Well, that would be the 1 and the 20. 2 and 10 have a difference of 8, 4 and 5 a difference of 1. So that's the end of step 1. And then step 2 you split the B term into two like terms, meaning so there's going to be an X term, an X term, and let's see, so the minus 5 and the 4X squared are the same, and now I've just got to figure out what is going to go in front of these, and the coefficients of these like terms are going to be the factors that we just found. And technically, the order of them doesn't matter, um, but I'll throw a 1 here and a 20 here and let things land where they may. And now I've got to figure out the coefficients of these. So AC was negative, so these signs must be different in order for those to kind of multiply to be negative 20. And they add to be a negative 19. So the more influential of these, or the one with the greater absolute value, must be negative. So we'll have a negative 20 and a positive 1. And those would, in fact, combine to be negative 19x. And then step 3 is called factor by grouping in which I yoink yoink steal the greatest common factor from the first two terms and the greatest common factor from the last two terms which in this case would be a 5 and better yet I'm going to actually take this minus sign with it uh, because I, I shouldn't ever leave the first thing in a set of parentheses uh, being negative negative. and let's watch what happens so x times what would be 4x squared plus 1x uh, well, that would be 4x plus 1. And let's see, then I factored out a negative 5. Negative 5 times what is negative 20x? Uh, that would be a 4x. And negative 5 times what is negative 5? That's a plus 1. And now notice both sets of my parentheses match, which is necessary for this next step to work properly. So if they didn't, um, like for instance, if I didn't factor out this negative sign, it would have been off slightly, and then I could have realized, oh, if I steal a sign out of it, it will match. Um, but now that they do, I can actually kind of jumbo GCF here, where I'm going to yoink, yoink an entire 4x plus 1 from both of those. So what, would, what I have on the outside is 4x plus 1 multiplied by another set of parentheses. And what's on the inside here? Whatever was left over, so an x and a minus 5. And this is my answer. And using the AC method, it's a very systematic approach that uh, will always lead you to the answer. Or at this step over here, if there was no factors that subtracted to be 19, we would have realized we were done and wouldn't have wasted our time doing a whole bunch of guess and check, which is nice. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to just check the OI from FOIL. Uh, my quotes don't look very good there. Uh, so let's check the OI. So 4x times negative 5 is negative 20x. 1 times x is 1x. And if I combine those, that's negative 19x, which does in fact match my original B term. So seems to check out. All right, well, thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.